What up, world? What up, people? What up, family? It's your boy, KOBK. That's Knocked Out by Knowledge. And today, I got something amazing for y'all. I told y'all I had a special guest coming today. I told y'all. Hey, today I get the pleasure of introducing a good friend of mine, somebody who I've known for a very long time. And we got into this trading thing together. And he's not only going to talk about trading, analyzing the market, breaking down the structure, but he's going to talk about his life. He's going to talk about, you know, what got him into this industry. You know, this man is very self-proclaimed. This this individual, he has a skill set. If he really wanted to, he can walk away from doing everything that he's doing with right now and go work for any airline that he wants to. By trade, he's an aircraft engine mechanic. So it's without any doubt in my mind that the knowledge that he's going to give to you guys tonight it's about to be like now. Get your pens, get your pad, and tune in, baby. KOBK, knocked out by now. Let's get it. Yo, so now we have the pleasure of meeting my brother, the gentleman I just told y'all about, Mr. Vinay, the self made millionaire, self made entrepreneur, the gentleman who was in the Air Force, two children. This man, single parent, holding it down. This man is clearly murdering the market. So today I bring you one of my good friends, one of my brothers, Mr. Sean. But Nate, Sean, how you doing? What's up, man? What's going on, Troy? Yeah. Man, hey. Left right now. Yo, I know you are, bro. I see what's going on, man. I see what you're doing in the market. And I'm telling you, man, I love it, bro. Hey, yo, you know what? I told the people a little bit about you. But we need to hear from you. We need to hear how you've been on this journey, man. Give us a little something. Well, shoot, you already know how it started, man. In case y'all don't know, I met this cat, Troy, what was that five years ago? Jeez! Both was in the Air Force, man. Our kids were like best friends, went to the same school and everything. And Troy was just that dude. Like, he's always into something. He's always bringing me something. Like, straight up entrepreneur. If y'all know Troy, y'all know that's how he is. Hey! Um, came to me. Came to me on several things. And, you know, I was... I was a little, I was still new. I was still kind of trying to get to fill them out and everything, but we still friends. I was like, nah, man, I'm cool. Nah, man, I'm cool. And he came to me with Forex. Woo! Like, I was like, yo, I've done this before. Like I've seen this before. And this was back in what, 2015. So I was like, it, it was it was something else, but I tried it, lost all my money. It was like 2K at the time. So you got stiff arm. You got stiff arm. You got Marshawn stiff arm. Okay. Yeah, but when you came to me, yo, <laughs> I remember exactly how it happened, man. Tell the people, bro. <laughs> Tell the people, man. This cat came to my door, opened the door. He's standing there like this. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what is it? <laughs> he's like, bro. That's all he's like, bro. I got something for you. I'm like, all right, man, let's hear it. And he started talking about Forex. I was like, yo, I've seen this before. Only reason why I lost my money because I didn't have the education. I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, yo, does this have like some sort of educational platform? It's like, it's got all of it here. I'm like, yo, sign me up. And right then, like after that, life changed forever because of this cat choice, man. I can honestly say. It. And everything we went through, you know the stuff we went through, even outside. Of yeah, right, right, right. Hey, man, tell the people just a little bit. Don't give them everything. Just give them a little Don't give them everything. Give them just a little bit, bro. Just a little bit. Yo, tell them, tell them about the meetings, bro, the restaurant venues, the, the, par the, the training travel parties, bro, the people coming in wanting to learn, bro. Like, tell them, tell them about the platform. Yo, so we started building okay i'm posting my stuff on facebook and everything and my co-workers like yo what are you doing this and that blah blah, blah. i'm like man everybody just let's hang out at my house so i kind of put my couch in my garage got a tv in there yo it was fly it was fly you had it decked up bro you had it decked up it was like the place to come especially since I, you know single dad you know my kids i control them like go upstairs do whatever me and me and my friends are downstairs in the garage and it's just bringing a bunch of people in there. Start Troy in there talking about Forex, bringing people in. It was like we in there having fun. Everybody bringing their laptops. It was like the environment was like something that I wanted to be a part of, like for as, as far as I can see into the future. So 
we were doing that. We would have them parties at, uh, what was that, B-Dubs? B-Dubs, yeah. Everybody come to B-Dubs, get some wings, learn about Forex. We, I still got the pictures on. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back like, man, those were the days. Right, yeah. right. We went through a lot of good times together. Word, bro. Word. So, so let me ask you this. I mean, be transparent with it with the people, bro. Is forex important to you? And is it a skill that you feel every individual should learn? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Elaborate. Right. All right. So we all know the whole nine to five thing. You go to work for you know whatever your hours are. You're working on somebody else's dreams and you come home and you chill out, you relax and get ready to go back to work, to work for someone else's dreams. Oh. But you're not taking that time after you get out of work to work for your own dreams. Hold on, but but bro, hold on. I'm going to work. I'm working. You So you're talking about that 40, 40, 40 play. <laughs> How are you talking about? So, but I'm going to work. I'm working 40 hours. I'm getting paid for them 40 hours. What, what do you mean I'm building someone else's dream? You're building someone else's dream. Whoever you're working for, they're employing you to work for them. Sure, they're they're giving you, they're pretty much they're pretty much putting a value on your own time. To but, say, hey, I'm gonna pay you this much amount per or per hour. So they're paying you for your time, but they're not paying you what you're worth. Oh. Oh. If you have, let's just say that you work minimum wage. Let's just say you work at McDonald's. Okay, you're trying to make ends meet, or you young teenager, you know, trying to get your feet wet in the job, in the job market, and everything. And McDonald's comes out and say, "Hey, we're gonna pay you what eight dollars an hour," and you working your butt up. Right. You working overtime. You flipping burgers. You doing fries. You cleaning up everything. Customer service, all of that. Oh, this personal with you. I see this personal. <laughs> this personal. You there all day, right? So you mean to tell me at the end of the day, my time and, you know, the hard work ethic that I'm putting into this job for somebody else is only worth $8 an hour. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, and extrapolate that with someone who makes a higher wage, who maybe not on salary, but still even $20 an hour. You can do, do something for an hour. Okay. Just do something rigorous, do something you don't like for an hour. You mean to tell me that? That hour was worth twenty bucks. Wow, Sean, Sean, you dropping bobs. Hey, bro, don't <laughs> give them too much, man. Hold on. So, 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 basically, what I just got out of that, mm -hmm. you're telling me that I can make twenty dollars an hour, or I can make a hundred dollars an hour, but we still gonna have the same problems. Same problems. <laughs> You know what? The kicker is it doesn't matter if you love your job to death. If this is your dream job and you're still getting paid a certain amount per hour. Right, right. It's not worth your time. Wow. It's not paying you what you're worth, even if you love it to death. Okay. You're not working for yourself. You're working for somebody else. Wow. So so you're saying you employ individuals to work on their own craft, to work to to uh, you know if they have a job we have nothing against jobs nothing at all mm -hmm. but you know you and i we say j-o-b stands for just over broke Ooh, they pay you just enough to enjoy your weekend but not enough to fire your boss right so so with that being said let, let, let's 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 go a little bit deep you ready for this you ready for this ready now come on come on let's talk about the individuals who say i have a good job I don't, mm -hmm. I don't need that, oh, you know, crazy. or, or, or let's talk about the individuals that say, Hey, you was in the military. So you have the opportunity to do that. Let's talk about that. What you guys say about that? <laughs> <laughs> I just say, okay. I just say, I have a good job. Okay. I don't need to do that. I don't need to worry about Forex or anything like that. What happens if you get fired? What mm -hmm. happens if you get hurt? What happens if something tragic happens to where you can't go to work? They're not going to pay you to not go to work. Cool. Some some jobs do, though. Some jobs do. Some jobs do, but for how long? Oh, you're getting for deep. How, let's, say you get, let's say you get paralyzed. Let's say you in the military. You're involved in the military. Let's, get, let's say I get paralyzed. Oh, God, God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. 
okay? Yeah, sure, if you play your cards right, you can get medically retired, and they will pay you. But at the same time, most of us aren't in the military. Oh. Most jobs aren't going to do that. You get hurt, especially if especially if it's not on the job. If you get hurt doing your own thing or you mountain climbing or enjoying your weekend, you get hurt. Hold on, mountain climbing. I don't know too many black people mountain climbing, bro. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. I mean, hey. Climbing, hey, what? I got bad knees, man. I'm not doing it. I got bad knees. I'm not doing it. <laughs> hey, hey, didn't you just see that mountain lion out there not too long ago? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right, let's, let's scratch mountain climbing. Right. Rigorous activity, whether it's sports, you know, you like to go to your rec center or your you love working out, whatever it is, you get injured on your off time, okay? Your job's still not gonna pay you. Mm. They're not gonna pay you like indefinitely. Oh, just come, we'll keep paying you while you recover, but when you come back, we expect you to work. Doesn't matter if you have problems or if you're still having ongoing problems with whatever injury you have, guess what? They're paying you based on your time there and your performance. Wow. So if you go back to work, they let you come back, you suck at your job because this injury. Now, how long are they going to keep you? Ooh, you they know, can always bring somebody, there's always somebody else waiting to fill your spot. Oh, hey, hold on, time out. I got something for you now. You, you and I were both in the military. Right. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the individuals? So, 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 let me tell y'all again. I did not even tell you. My man was an aircraft engine mechanic. So was I. Like we can go for, we can go to any airline and work on any aircraft out there, but we choose not to do that. We choose not to. We we choose to build our dream. We choose to leave a legacy. We choose to create generational wealth. That's what we choose to do. Now don't get me wrong, we can go over there and, and make 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars with the AMP working for any one of these companies, but you know what? We can do this in our pajamas. As a matter of fact. My brother right here, son has has an an, an event coming up. It's uh, what is it, Sean? What's it called? Pips in pajamas. Pips in pajamas. Man. If y'all don't know, that's making money in your PJs. That's making money at your desk with your coffee on there. You know, or just your coffee on your desk. You got your bagel over here. We talking about making money from home. And if you guys can't see everything that's going on with this economy right now, like you you really need to buckle down. Because these individuals don't care about us. They really didn't want to give individuals a stimulus check. Like, come on. We got, you know, I'm not going to get into the political aspect. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. But they didn't want to give it to the people who deserved it. You know, so you guys during this time should have really worked on your craft, really worked on your dream, increased your ambition to do what you want, to leave that legacy for your people, for your family. You know, that's, that's the time. That's the time that we're in right now. All right, so let me get off my soapbox. I ain't, boy, I'm about to dive in there, bro. Mine too. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to dive in there. Yo, so, so, Sean, so, you know, I, I, I really feel very strongly about what you just said, and I understand. And the reason is because, you know, you and I both understand the importance of residual income. And, you know, we talk to individuals and they say, oh, you got the military or, or you had the military. You get paid on the first and the 15th. But let's talk about the four load. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about when, you know, we had these government contractors who were not getting paid. Let's talk about when we had the military who wasn't getting paid on the first and the 15th. And they still wanted them to come to work. <laughs> Boy, what? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Let me up. You about to set me up. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But see, like, a lot of individuals don't understand that, man. They, they you know, when we were in the military, it's like, oh, y'all got the best of the best. But let me ask y'all this. I'm talking to the general public right now. What would you do if your job said, we're not going to pay you, but we require you to still come to work? We, re we, we require you to still come work 40, 40, 40. We require you to come put in that overtime and you not and, and, and you and you'll go home late to your children. You missing all the birthdays, the football games, the basketball games and you not getting paid. What would you do? You know what? You see, I don't let a lot of people know this, but I'm about to put it out there. So, bro, 
I don't even think you know what I think I think you do know that. Well, you know, I don't tell a lot of people. I'm a, I'm putting it out there. So when I was out there in Japan, I moved I moved here to Arizona, and um, they messed up my pay. Right. They didn't pay me for two to three months. I know your boy got children, five of them. You know, send five of them kids on deck, but they didn't pay me. So I had to find a way to navigate my situation. I still had to pay rent. I, I still had bills, utilities, rent, had to do food. You know what I'm saying? Still had to do that. So what would a lot of you guys do if you were in that situation? Let me tell you what I did. I relied on that residual income. And the reason I relied on that residual income because I had some wealthy mentors who came into my life who, in, who, who impressed upon me the importance of having residual income. See, what I realized about residual income is that if you don't have residual income, if you don't know how to make money or earn money, money while you sleep, you'll work to the day that you die. See, I always thought residual income was me getting paid on the first and the 15th until that furlough hit when people weren't getting paid. But see, when I was able to move to Arizona, I still had them checks coming in on the first and the 15th. So instead of having two checks on the first and the 15th, I was getting six to eight checks a month. That's what I'm talking about. See, what I'm here to impress upon you and to let you all know that when we're talking about millionaires, millionaires have at least six to seven strings of income. How many do you have? Woo! Most of you have just that one, and that's that J-O-B. You already know what we said about J-O-B. They pay you just enough to enjoy your weekend, but not enough to fire your boss. With that being said, some of y'all don't even have consecutive days off. Some of y'all might have a Tuesday and Thursday, y'all. Y'all might have a Saturday and Sunday, y'all. You might that might even make you come to work on Sunday so you miss your day of going to church. Oh man, it's time it's time for y'all to take control of this situation. This this right here, this right now, it's the prime time for you to take control, especially of this digital market, this digital age is going on. A lot of you guys don't understand and don't realize that the gold used to back the U.S. currency. The U.S. dollar is getting weaker and weaker. That's why we always see everybody always say they want a, a raise. They want minimum wage to increase. But the reason the minimum wage is increasing is because your dollar is not worth as what it used to be because the gold is not backing it like it used to be. You, you get what I'm saying? Come on, son. Talk to him, man. What? <laughs> Stay on that bike, Tommy. Man, I'm just, I'm just saying, man, like these, they don't understand. And, and these are the type of conversations that we, we need to be having with our family, with our youth. This is the type of conversations we need to be having, having with our children. See, right now, we got this, this, this cryptocurrency age, bro. You know, you, you know, crypto just hit 40K, bro. Then everybody want to get in. It's like, oh, it, hey, it dropped seven grand. It dropped, it dropped six grand. People, oh, I'm pulling my money out. And you and I, we over here looking like, we going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> we going to be all right. Be because we understand. We understand what's going on with the market. We understand what's going on with cryptocurrency. It's because the knowledge and the mentors that we have that are helping us guide us to the next level. We knew Bitcoin is going to go back up. Let, let me, I'm, about, I'm about to drop. Hey, son, can I drop a nugget to him? I'm going to drop one nugget. I'm gonna drop one nugget. Do you guys know that cryptocurrency is worth more than the stock market right now? Cool. Cool. I said, let me, I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna repeat. I said cryptocurrency is worth more than the stock market. See, back in the day when BTC was being talked about. You had all the major banks and the hedge funds, corporations talking about, hey, stay away from cryptocurrency. Don't mess with cryptocurrency. But guess what? Now all those major banks and corporations, they're trying to get into the corporation. They're trying to get into the BTC market. They're trying to get into the crypto, the cryptocurrency market because they understand that the dollar is finite. They understand that the dollar is worth nothing. So they're trying to get in and buy PTC, I'm BTC right now. There are people out there buying over $200,000 worth of BTC every single hour. And you guys are thinking that you're too late to get in on BTC, but you're not.
See, what you guys really need to realize, and you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you what you, what me and my God been doing. Like we are reaping the benefits. Well, what I'm saying is you guys need to get in on this crypto. You need to learn this crypto because here this month, everyone in the United States is about to get a digital wallet. Everyone in the United States is about to get a cryptocurrency wallet. See, if y'all don't know, y'all better do some research. Oh, <laughs> you, hey, 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 son, they better get one before it's given to them. You know what I'm saying? They better get one before it's given to them because it's hey, coming. Hey, Troy, what happens if what, what happens if they're given one? What type of stipulations are? Uh, <laughs> so check this out, man. Hey, that's a deep. That's a deep topic. That's a deep topic. I don't I don't even know if I'm going to go into that. But what I will say, what I will say with that, if they do give you a cryptocurrency wallet, an e-wallet, they will be able to monitor everything that's going on in that wallet. Mm. They will be able to know how much money you made in the crypto market. Yep. And I'm going to say this. With that being said, just realize cryptocurrency is not taxable. As of now, that's all I'm gonna say. What well, as of now, but if they know, hey, you know what? Yeah, I think I think they get it, man. That's 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 a deep one, bro. That's a deep one. Oh man, hey man, I, I appreciate you, son. Man, there's so much more that we can definitely talk about, man. Uh, so hey, son, you know what? Let's let's do something different today, bro. Let's let's show the people. A little bit of let's give them a little insight of the knowledge that we're acquired through learning how to look at markets through learning how to look at different strategies and use our own strategies and marks up mark up grass and everything like that so we can look at the market so we're not in there gambling you know what i'm saying hey, so the, can, you know what hold on i'm gonna give you access because because let me give you access to share this because this is about to be huge this is about Brother, you already have access. You good to go. It's your world. It's your world. <laughs> All right, cool. That's what's up, man. Let me go ahead and start sharing my screen. I'm going to show you guys what I do pretty much every day. Okay. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, and this is why Troy pretty much brought me on, like I said before, he has pretty much started me on my journey through Forex, I want to say it was that five years ago when he opened that freaking door and had that look on his face. And I was looked at for that pretty much. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to go ahead and share a little bit with you guys what it is. Whoa, I, whoa, whoa. Hold on, Sean. What is, what is this platform? Some people might not even know what this is. I know what it is. Whoa, whoa what, is it, what is it? Is this this geometry right now? What we got going on? Man, I feel like, I, is this reading rainbow? What's going on, man? Yo, this is this trading view, man. Mm. This is trading view. This is what you use to scan the markets. This is widely accessible. It's just a website, tradingview.com. You can go in here and look at any stock, any crypto, any forex pair, gold, silver, freaking indices like the NASDAQ 100, SPX 500, US 30. You can pretty much look up anything on here and see if it's going up or down pretty much okay let me give so let me get my pen and paper because i feel like you about you about to draw some knowledge let me get let me get ready man i feel like you about to draw some knowledge <laughs> oh man so this is what i do every day okay, i'm a forex educator I do have my own company along with, with my partner marcus thomas we'll be hearing from him another time our company is called snm trading okay you marcus got your, com your, your company's called what bro SNM trading. SN what does that mean? I love it. I love, I love it. I love hey, put the link in the chat box, bro, so I can put that out there to the people as well, man. I love it. Definitely. I want to show you guys this though. Like I said, Troy got us both started five years ago. Okay, so for those of y'all that know Troy, I mean he's gonna set you up like for life. He truly, truly cares about everybody you comes across, especially when it comes to educating yourself in the financial markets, whether it be Forex, crypto, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, this is just a brief example of what I do every day. Okay, we have a certain number of students that come on 
a Zoom platform just like this. You already know everybody's working from home and doing all that stuff because of COVID and everything. Quarantine, wherever you are, you can still work from home. If it's from your company or whoever you work for, they have like, you know, your, your station at home where you can still work. You're still putting in the time that they assign you, that they tell you that you have to work. Some people that I know personally are actually working harder from home than they do at their job because there's no commute. So they have to make up that time. But with the Forex market, you can pretty much print your own money, especially if you know what you're doing. Okay. So looking at Litecoin, we're gonna we're gonna start with a with a crypto, okay, real quick. Litecoin, Litecoin. For those of you guys that don't know, a bunch of cryptos move in the same direction. Okay. Almost at the same time. So if you're looking at Bitcoin and it's going up in the same fashion as this, then Litecoin, Ethereum, um, and a couple other cryptos that I have on here as well. I don't trade all of them, but the ones that I do trade, I make sure that they're moving at the same rate. So looking at this chart, okay. Like I said, this is widely accessible. It's public knowledge, it's a public website. Um, tradingview.com go in here just type in anything and it'll, it'll show you what that whatever you're looking at it's going to show you how it looks it's going to show you the strength the up and down it's going to show you the history of that asset or that symbol that you're looking at you can even go all the way back to when that asset started first tracking okay these up here these are time frames all right, this is just a, a real quick navigation for this website. Okay. This is your time frame. The W stands for a weekly time frame. So if you can see this, you can see that Litecoin first started being tracked back in what? November of 2013. Okay. And this was before it started booming. You can see this boom. All right, this boom happened in what? January 2018. It got to its peak and it started coming down, coming down. You can track the whole lifespan of whatever you're looking at, okay? Now this right here, this is part of technical analysis, all right? You're just breaking down what you see. You're dropping down time frame by time frame and trying to identify where it's gonna go next. But this is just the basics, all right? There's plenty more that comes with this, but at the same time, it's just like with anything else. The more you study, the more knowledge you seek from trading, the better off you'll be, the better you'll become, which will ultimately lead to the more money you'll be making on your own. And it's based off your own education. Okay, whatever you put into it, you're gonna get out. All right. So just looking at the weekly time frame, okay? When we talk about technical analysis, we're talking about certain tools that you can use to what we call mark up a chart. Okay. We have lines. Down here, we have rectangles, we have Fibonacci levels, arrows, a whole bunch of tools that'll help us analyze these charts, okay? I wanna drop down to the daily chart. So on the daily chart, you can see it looks a little different. If I zoom out just a little bit, it looks different because each one of these price bars, which we call candlesticks, since we're on the daily time frame all of these candlesticks are one day okay if we move up to the weekly each candlestick is going to represent one week and so on and so forth as we drop down so every time frame that you see up here it represents the length of each candle as well all right so as you can see on the daily this is our price chart on the right if you can see this now, I want everybody to pay attention to this. You see this 120 right here? This is part of technical analysis, okay? We already know that the market was shooting up, but where can we get in? What's the, where's the safest place that we can enter on Litecoin for a buy and make some money? We're not just gonna go in there and go off rumors like, oh, Litecoin's shooting up. Let's just go ahead and buy it you're not gonna know whether or not you're gonna make money on it because you can't see it. Like you can't see a physical representation 
of the current strength of Litecoin and whether it's going up or down. So that's why these charts and your technical analysis are very important. And there's two different, there's two different ways that you can partake in buying like, okay? You can either buy it and hold it and put it in your crypto wallet and have it either gain value or lose value based off of what these charts are doing, or you can trade it through the Forex market. All right? Whoa, market. whoa, whoa, hold on, son. You just dropped a major bomb right there, bro. Hold on. So are you telling are you telling the people that we can either trade it or acquire an asset and hold on to it? And then as it depreciates, we can still make money? Is is that what you just said? Sir. Boy, you giving them the sauce tonight. You giving them the sauce. That's exactly what I said. And it's true. Happens every day. I do it every day. A bunch of people I know do it every day. The problem is, is rumors, okay? And the other problem is fear and greed. The rumors come when you hear on social media, you hear from whoever is talking about it that's famous or on the news or all of the hype surrounding cryptocurrencies that they're on the rise. So when everybody didn't believe in crypto, that's when the people that actually knew what was gonna happen that's when they bought, okay? A majority of traders and investors bought these cryptocurrencies when they were down here, okay? Now that we're up here, everybody wants to buy. But you can see that once we got up here, if you were to buy Litecoin when it was at the top and you see it drop down, that's what these red candles are, it means it's losing its value. So if you're holding it, you're not gonna make any money, all right? But when it comes to trading, through technical analysis, which I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, when it comes to trading, you can make money both ways. It's not like stocks, okay, where you can only make money if whatever stock you invest in, if they're doing well and they start going up. If they start coming down, and you sell off your shares and you still make some money. In the forex market, you make money both ways. So look at it like a bet. Just standard bare bones type of analogy okay let's just say that i want to put a bet i bet five dollars that litecoin is going to go up that's what green the green bar represents i bet five dollars that litecoin is going to go up and depending on how far it goes up that five dollars is going to come turn into 10 20 30 40 45 50 55 as long as it keeps going up that five dollars is going to multiply and multiply and multiply. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what if I put 300 or 500 or 1,000? Is it the same? 300 could turn into 600. That six turns into 900. Hey, that, hey, that's where that greed come in, huh? Where the greed come hey, in. Oh, hey, hey, so hold on. Wait, wait. Give them a disclaimer right now, bro. Give them a past profits. Disclaimer. Yeah, give it to them, bro. Give it to them. Past profits do not guarantee future success. Okay. Knowledge. Knowledge. <laughs> Just because you've seen people trading and making a lot of money does not mean that you can go in there and do the same. Okay. It takes work. It takes hard work. And that goes back to what we were saying before about you putting in all these hours for someone else's dream. But when you come home, you're not working on your own dream. So, so with that being said, how would I use risk management with this? How would I know how much to actually trade with? You got anything to say about that? So risk management, it's all based on fear and greed. Okay. okay. So, for example, let's say you start with $100, right? $100 is always recommended that you only risk between 1% and 3% of that $100 on each trade that you take. Ah, okay, that makes sense. So let's let's just say, for instance, let's put this up here like this, okay? Let's have this here. This is like a, a risk to reward ratio type of tool that you can calculate and put into TradingView to kind of see how much risk that you're going to 
that you're willing to take. Hold on. Hold on. What is it? That look like a cheat code. What you bring on the chart right here, bro? That's a cheat code. That's telling me. Hold on. Wait, boy. Hey, hey, you blowing my mind right now. You telling me that's a risk reward? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So wait, wait. What the red mean? What the red mean? The red is your wrist. Oh no, nah, no. Nah, that I want the green. I want all the green. green. Exactly. Exactly. Now this is this is hindsight. Okay. okay. All right. This is definitely hindsight. But I'm going to I'm going to show you what experience in trading forex will get you. Okay? Going and I'll, I'll come to your risk management. I'll come back to it in a minute. But I want to mark this chart this chart up, okay? Now when we always when we mark up our charts, we do our top down analysis. We start at the weekly, now we're down to daily. You can see here how the market reacts to these numbers on the price scale, okay? Starting at 100. All of these, this price really came down and rejected off of this $100 price point, okay? What's that? About four days in a row and then it went up, okay? The same thing happened at 120. It was rejecting from this price point, went way deep into it, but it still rejected it and went all the way up. And now it came back down and did the same thing and rejected off of it. Now it's starting to go up. So obviously looking at 100 and 120, these are obviously important areas in Litecoin, okay? And you can capitalize off these areas if you are able to put in the work and put in the practice to be able to mark these charts up. This is this is like this is Forex 101 right now. This is this is marking up your charts 101. This is what we teach all of our students, all the new people coming in, wanting to learn how to trade. This is the most basic skill that you must acquire because if you don't, you're gonna lose a lot of money really fast. All right. And it's the same thing as if you're buying Bitcoin coin when it was at 40k and then it just dropped okay you don't know what you're looking at you're just going off of rumors and fear and greed that you may miss out on the next spike up but if you don't see what you're doing if you don't see what the market is doing then you're not going to make any money you're actually going to lose money okay so on litecoin we have this up here as well this was almost the tippy top of this about 180 we close these these bars pretty much closed under 180. All right. We also have 130 here. And you're gonna see how important these areas are when we start dropping back down. All right. One last thing that I want to point out before we drop down, we're gonna go down to the four hour time frame after this. All right. I'm gonna put this line in here. And this line is called a trend line. Okay. There's a popular saying within the Forex world, the trend is your friend. Okay. If you can see each time after I drew this out, each time price came down and hit around this area on this trend line, it started going up. So we can obviously see that overall this market is going up. All right. So that's our daily time frame, like I said. Let's drop down to the four hour. And we can see on the four hour, each of these candlesticks represents four hours in time. Okay. So it come, there comes a great deal of patience when it comes to trading. You have to be patient. If you are impatient, you're going to lose a lot of money really fast. Okay. So you have to have patience. And for new people, it takes a while to develop that type of patience because new people, especially coming in, they want their money now. But Forex is not a get rich quick scheme, okay? Just like investing, just like crypto. Yes, you can make money very quickly, but most of the time it's going to be a slow build. So that's how you have to look at it. You have to look at acquiring the skill before chasing the money because you're going to get so caught up in chasing the bag that you don't acquire the skill. The skill is your foundation, okay? Kind of like, um, Tim Duncan, the big fundamental, <laughs> all right, in the NBA, retired now. But he's the big fundamental for a reason. He's one of the best power forwards of all time. That's because his fundamentals were so solid. And it doesn't matter if it was Shaq or any other 
center slash power forward that he was going up against, he dominated because his foundations were on point. Being able to mark up charts, which we call it really like it's an aspect of naked trading, which is no indicators. There's no other indicators on my screen. Indicators are a form of, I would say, visual aid to somewhat predict where the market is going to go. Okay. This is me. I drew five things on here and I can already make a move in the market because I know where it's going. All right. So your fundamentals you have to have those down. Patience is part of your fundamentals. You have to have that. So just based off of this chart, we were able to call this trade out. Actually, I want to say two days ago and it's still going. We called a buy off of this area. Okay. So this move combined with just overall market structure, which is how the market moves, the market moves in phases. The more you educate yourself on that, the easier it will be to identify those phases. All right. And just like we marked out on this chart, each of these areas that is marked out here, the market has had a reaction from it. And our job as traders is to capitalize on those moments. When we see heavy rejection from an area, just like back here, okay, we already broke through this area, which is 120, which we saw on the daily time frame. We knew that was an important area. So when we drop down to the four hour, we see as the market is trying to come down, it cannot pass this zone that I made up or that I identified here. It can't drop down any further. So if it can't go down, it can only go up. But how far is the question? That's where your patience comes in. That's where your analytical mind comes in. And that's where your risk management comes in as well. When it comes to risk management, if you have, let's just say you have $100, okay? You have a $100 account and you're risking a dollar to make $3. Nobody's really going to complain about that. You're going to take that risk, okay? When you make that win, you feel great. You feel like you're you're the boss, like you can't lose. Like I just made three dollars. Okay. I only risk one dollar. If I would have lost, I'd only lost one dollar. But if I win, I'm gonna make three. Take that all day. The problem comes when people start getting greedy, okay? And they feel a really, really good sense of accomplishment. They feel invincible within the market. They feel like they can't lose. And that's when the market comes back and bites you. Okay, it's going to take your money just like that. And the market will humble you very, very quickly and very often. I can't tell you how many times I've lost here, but the point is to keep going. A lot of people like to give up early on. Um, but going back to risk management, okay, we call this trade out, which was a minimum amount of risk compared to a pretty good gain. And this was all based off of our overall technical analysis. All right, these five lines, this trend line, this line, this line, this line, and this line, we were able to identify this move. We called this buy just based off of these areas, especially 130, okay, where price couldn't come back and hit it. It came down, but it rejected off of this area. It came back up and it was rejecting for almost a day. If it can't get past this area, then it has nowhere to go but up. Especially after all that rejection, then we head up, call up this trade out, we made people a lot of money. And this is just an example of how to navigate trading view and how to go in here and manually make your money and pull it out anytime you want. It's a skill that you have to develop, you have to practice, you have to want it. You have to want to work on your dreams. Okay. Somebody Somebody who works on their dreams consistently, you can't stop them. There's no stopping them. And there was no stopping me. Obviously, there's no stopping Troy. I didn't see Troy go from <laughs> Troy and shot up. Man, I'm so proud of this dude. And I really thank him for having me on here. It's, it's, it's truly an honor. And I'm truly blessed to have met you and have you in my life. Because if you would not have introduced me to this, I'm pretty sure I would have never known. Because I want to say back when we were both in, I don't think I heard anybody else talking about Forex besides us two. 
So I never would have heard it. So props to you, man. I love you. You're my brother for life. Thank you for, you know, introducing me to this, man. Um, but just letting you guys know, this is a skill that you can develop. Anybody can do this. You put the work in, it becomes easier and easier and easier to the point where you can go in here and just make your money, make as much money as you want. Okay, your trade's running. Like I said, each one of these candlesticks is four hours. You do your analysis the right way and you can let this run. You don't have to sit here and watch it. Each of these is four hours. This is a span of maybe three or four days or two to four days. This whole ride up right here. And every day your money is just growing and it's growing and it's growing based off of your own analysis and based off of what you learn. Boy, what, boy, shine, shine. Hold on. Let me get my camera. Oh, I had to turn it on, boy. Hey, I was over here in the background. I got my pen. I got my pad. I mean, you, I know how to trade, but just, you know, literally just sitting back and, you know, literally watching you maneuver this market, you know, it's, 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 it's art. It's an artwork. It's an acquired skill. And I'm telling you, bro, you have truly, man, I'm so proud of you. Um, you're 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 so humble, man. I appreciate all the kind words that you said about me, bro. You you already know you and I. We gonna we gonna rock out to to the end, no matter what. But man, just bro, just coming in, bro, and just listening to you paint that picture for individuals who do not know what's going on in the mark in the market. I'm gonna call you Vinay Picasso because you was killing it. You killed the market, man. I mean, you broke down. I mean, just you know, just a, a simple overview, bro. Like. We we talked about building your dreams, you know, building your, I mean, working on your passion, working on your dream, working on, you know, your residual income. We talked about um, building your second source of income, equaling residual income and not building someone else's dream. We talked about marking up the charts. We talked about crypto. We talked about Forex. We talked about support. We talked about resistance. We talked about market structure. Bruh. Bruh. Hey. Look, people pay for the lesson that was just given, you know, and, you know, honestly, man, I truly want to thank you for, you know, coming on this platform, you know, sharing your knowledge, man, giving us the wisdom that you gain, you know, through the vast amount of resources that we have at our fingertips, man, you know, just giving it to the people, bro. I, I, I want you, bro, I want you to share this video. I want you to put it on your platform, man. You know, it's it's a beautiful thing, man. Sean, I'm truly proud of you, man. I, I see I see great things in you. I really do, man. Like, I see I see what's going on in your life, bro. And you're helping a lot of individuals. You know, you're you're giving them the wisdom. You're giving them the structure to become better with not only just trading, but becoming better individuals. You know, becoming a becoming a better them. You know, and and that's a gift. It's a gift. It's something that you don't acquire. It's something that's already built within you, and you got it, bro. You got it. Yeah, hey, just just stay humble, man. Keep giving them, keep giving them no, the knowledge, bro. And that's all I got, man. That's all I got, man. I appreciate you. I, you know you're my brother, man. Love you to death. Thanks for everything, man. For real. One hundred. If I ain't meet you, man, I don't, I don't know where I'd be right now. Hey, man, we ain't gonna talk about that right now. But hey, this your boy. K-O-B-K, -K, that stands for Knocked Out by Knowledge, and you have just been served with the sauce of knowledge tonight. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm out of here. K-O-B-K, -K, let's get it. Yeah.